Are your preparations complete? Sir, Sith warship dead ahead of us. It's attacking Citadel Station. Let's close the trap. Concentrate all fire on the warship and deploy red and blue wings to engage enemy fighters. Sir, at this distance, our weapons will barely scratch it. We can't hope to match its firepower, but we need to draw it away from Telos. Sir, if it keeps firing on Citadel Station, the station won't be able to maintain its orbit. I am aware of the situation, Lieutenant. I do not intend to lose Telos twice. And I know that ship. It was a Malachor V. securing the area. The vessel has suffered extensive structural damage, but its particle fields still maintain a minimal atmosphere within the ship. And our cargo? It's being brought aboard. Soon, teams will be dispatched to the target sites. Do the Republic forces suspect? No, Mandalore. The proton cores do not emit a signature the Republic ships can detect. If they do pick up the signal, they will assume it to be emanating from the ship's missile bays. Did you get an ID signature on this vessel? You were right about the vessel, Mandalore. It is of Malachor. It still bears the wounds of Mandalorian guns. Then let's finish this. And remind the galaxy of Malachor V. What was that about? Nothing you need to worry about, Sith. You are coming with me. Don't get all sentimental. I just don't trust you to get the job done. Been waiting for this for ten years. It's just time to do things the old-fashioned way. I know what it meant for you to accompany me here, Candorus of Clan Ordo. Your trust honors me. If you betray me or my men, I will kill you. I was going to say the same, Candorus. <laughs>
one of the target sites. Place the proton core, prime it. Then give the signal, Mandalore. Arming signal received, Mandalore. The proton core is active. We still need to set three more charges. Mandalore, we are holding our position, but the Sith appear to be offering little resistance. It's like they don't even realize we're here.
Two more sites are left. 
We've lost contact with two of our squads, and we've had to fall back to the docking area. No, there are no weapons. It was a place where I could center myself from the agony on board this ship. I do not have pleasant memories of it. If there is time, I would like to center myself. There is a meditation chamber within my cell that I would visit one last time.
Past the surface, there is the Force. Where once there was a world that was strong in the Force. Where once there was a world that was strong in the Force. Now there is a barren wasteland. That was strong in the Force. From the death of an entire world comes great power. My hands shall be hate, my eyes revenge. You shall be avenged, and the one who has done this shall die. There's nothing more for me here. Have you come to kill me? You Jedi are masters of cruelty. He happened. The hunger that fills this vessel. It is power that it consumes without end. It is that power we felt on Onderon, that Vaklu felt. It was an echo, too strong to ignore. There's nothing to be done, except wait. If you go to him, he will destroy you. And your last moments shall be of shadow and pain. Onderon. But there's no longer any need.
As you acted suddenly, I acted. It is like we were fighting in tandem as a force bond. Though I do not feel the same connection. Your impulse to kill. To attack that one. I felt it mirrored in me. It was a strange sensation. It was as if... I had no choice in the matter. Destroy the ship on your command.
This door leads to the bridge and my former master. If you wish to gather your strength, this is the last time.
He doesn't understand. He thinks he can survive it. It was weakness, but for you, I, I, my life, for yours. Her death was worthy of a Mandalorian.
Surrounded by a fleet of dead ships. I felt it through him, as I feel it through you. You are my master now, and I will follow wherever your path takes you. My path is at an end. Are you all right? Get away from me. I don't need your help. Just leave me here. Candorus, the Force lies in all living things. I have watched my people die. You will survive. You have no choice. You have been wounded before and lived, Mandalorian. Rise. Many battles do you still have left in you. You sound like Revan. Do you know what he told me in those last days on the Outer Rim? <laughs> that the Mandalorian Wars were our doom, and that we had been deceived. That it had never been our decision to wage war on the Republic. Revan said the Mandalorians didn't invade the Republic space ten years ago because it was our choice. We were tricked. Our entire people sacrificed as pawns, and never knew it. He said there was a war coming, that it was waiting out in the unknown regions, in the dark, waiting for us to destroy each other. A war? This war? No, not this one. Another one. More terrible. Against an evil we couldn't begin to comprehend. A war of belief that had been fought for thousands of years. Revan went off to fight it. And left you here. Revan was one of the greatest military leaders in the galaxy. In history, he knew what he was doing. And I always follow orders.
Admiral Onasi wanted to speak with you, ma'am. It's a little beat up, but it's still home. I wasn't able to be here to protect it when the Sith attacked the first time. This time you gave me a second chance. I owe you. I've read your records, how the Jedi sentenced you for doing what you believed. You wandered past the Outer Rim during your exile. I ask you, did you find any trace of Revan? I served with him like you did, and we had to part ways like you did. He said that there were places where he had to walk where I could not go, places where having allies, or anyone he cared about, would only place them in danger. It's been four years, and I still don't know what happened to him. He told me to stay here to try to keep the Republic strong, and that he would return. It was the hardest request I ever had to follow. I don't know, but it was important to him. He said that he believed something had been behind the Mandalorian Wars. That it hadn't been the Mandalorian's choice to attack the Republic. Whatever it was, I think he went off to find it. To fight it. It was near the end of the Jedi Civil War, when it seemed like we were going to lose everything. We met on a Republic warship, called the Endar Spire. It was being attacked over Terrace, and the Sith had stormed the ship. We saved the Republic. But it was like the war didn't end for him. He would keep remembering things that he'd done and it kept driving him. And I think he finally remembered something terrible that he'd done during the Mandalorian Wars. And he went to put an end to it. He left a lot of people who cared about him behind. But I think he did it because he thought it was the right thing to do. But whatever he set out to do, I, I don't think he succeeded. And here you return, with his ship, without him. Yes, wherever he went, your ship's been there. If... If you return to that place, if you find some trace of Revan... No. Simply tell him that Admiral Onassi is following his orders. Safe journey, exile. Did she know? No, she didn't. There are times I fear we shall never know where he left Karth. And I cannot live not knowing the answer. Why he sought to protect us. He asked us to stay to keep the Republic safe. It was important to him. And after meeting the Exile, I'm convinced that there are worse things to lose in the galaxy. Jedi who followed Revan, the true Jedi, 
died at Malakul Five. We go now, my master, to that dark place which made you, where you gained your ship, your troops, your ship, my prison, that you dragged from the gravity well at Malakor Five. Wish I'd never met her. Wish I'd died there. That the storms had dragged me down into Malakor Five. We will not surrender. We will not die. Like we did on Malachor V. Your command echoes still, General, and I obey, as I did at Malachor V. Now Malachor V comes to us, and I wish to face it this last time. You know where you must go. It calls to you still. It is the heartbeat of the past. And she must be stopped there now. Or she will bring the screams of Malico Five to the galaxy. It has been some time. You were a fool to return. I spared you once. I will not do so again. Spare me? Ah, yes. No, you simply did not learn the lesson I sought to teach. That your strength is as meaningless as the strength of my hand. Why have you returned? Because now I understand why the Exile did what she did. There is much to be done. Master, she is here. I know. What is thy bidding, my master? You are to do nothing. When she arrives, bring her before me. She may not survive Malachor. So touching. Can it be you still have feelings within that shell? Master, what will you do to her? You know what I shall do. You, who wear my teachings so well. I will break her. She is a blank slate upon which my teachings may be written, as you well know. Leave me. Await the arrival of the exile. When she comes, bring her before me. <laughs> <laughs> 